Right now, uh, let's talk about uh, uh, phone signals. 5G. Big, big, big row before, you know, kinder, gentler, happier times a few months ago when we were just rowing about uh, China and uh, their imp Im uh, impact on Huawei and whether or not they should have a role in 5G. Of course, China's had a rather bigger impact on our lives in more recent weeks and obviously for many months and possibly years ahead. But now conspiracy theorists have uh, come into their own uh, with a, an absurd claim in, uh, going around like wildfire online about a link between 5G and Huawei and phone masks. Um, we have seen a number of mobile phone masks in Birmingham, Merseyside and Belfast and elsewhere being set on fire uh, amid this widely shared conspiracy theory. Uh, we've also seen threats to broadband engineers by people who apparently believe that radiation from 5G masks is causing health risks and lowering people's immune systems. Let's talk about this with tech journalist Guy Cocker. Good morning to you, Guy. Morning, Julian. I have to say, when I saw this online, I thought it was a spoof. But uh, no, we are actually seeing people being threatened. We're seeing phone moths set alight, again, stretching our emergency services at a time when they really don't need it. Um, but where on earth did this conspiracy theory start? Well, it started back in January, around the same time that the first cases were reported uh, in the U.S., and it seems to have just taken hold of, um, of people who are probably already suspicious about 5G because of the stories that were doing the rounds that we spoke about in the past, which were that the U.K. government was using Chinese technology from Huawei, who do have very close ties to the Chinese government, who were being called on by the U.K. mobile providers to provide um, uh, 5G uh, masks and technology, and... Um, it seems to have spread through Facebook predominantly, uh, through, through a number of people who have hundreds of thousands of followers, who have verified accounts, so seem to be uh, sort of trusted sources. And one has been that the one claim is that 5G can suppress the immune system, and then the other is that the virus itself can be transmitted through the use of 5G technology. Both claims absolutely ridiculous from a, from a scientific um, perspective, but as we know from, from sort of modern social media, these sorts of claims can um, get hold and if, they, if they're sort of believable to a certain section of the, of the public. Um, um, and they can spread like they have them. It, 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 indeed. Yeah. As we see, well, the Cabinet Office Minister Michael Gove branded the conspiracy theories dangerous nonsense. The NHS Medical Director Stephen Powers said the 5G story is complete and utter rubbish. It is nonsense, the worst kind of fake news. He also points out you know, this is a time when we desperately need our communications to be working. This is when, goodness me, you never be more grateful for decent broadband if you've managed to get it um, in advance uh, so that you can actually keep in touch with family and do those sort of video conferencing and FaceTime and that. So people just destroying phone masks are, are actually really putting a lot of you know, vulnerable people, elderly people, isolated people at risk who can't then make, uh, make communication with their families. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's uh, it's a real a real shame that these masks in Birmingham and Merseyside have been uh, have been seemingly attacked in this way. I mean, to, to sort of break down the science, 5G it is transmitted by radio waves. Very strong radio waves can cause heating, but uh, 5G is nowhere near strong enough to have any effect. And there are lots of studies on this. Um, so yeah, it's really um, if you do see it on on, uh, on social media, do you know if you, if you can sort of uh, do what you can to, to report it or to uh, put a comment on there, just linking to the evidence which is widely available through the, yeah. through the news through, through, through various media um, because it's a very very baseless story yeah it's, it's as simple as that it is not true that doesn't mean that people haven't got legitimate concerns about the role of china in the highway company and whether or not they should be involved in a, a 5g sort of security critical uh, telecommunications but it's got absolutely zero to do with spreading the coronavirus yeah, that's correct. And, and the International Commission for Non-Ionizing Radiation Protection has said that there's also no evidence that mobile networks, including 5G, can cause other illnesses like cancer. So, um, you know, this is, it's, uh, there's no evidence, there's no scientific evidence at all. And as you said, the NHS England medical director has said that it's the worst kind of fake news as well. So it's being, it's being derided and shot down from all quarters at this stage. By anyone who's sensible not wearing a little foil hat right now. Exactly. Yeah. Guy Cook, a tech journalist, thank you very much for joining us and putting people to rights on that. Uh, let's